everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Misty Cowl, which is the cowl that you see here in front of you. If you head over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you'll see some more photos as well as the free written crochet pattern. And that direct link can be found in the description of this video. So this cowl was designed in order to go along with my Misty Beanie, which can also be found here on my YouTube channel and on my blog. I'll show you a little bit of the cowl here. You can see a corner of it here. It is a towel cowl that uh, has lots and lots of texture. It is super soft. I have made this cowl with the uh, Karen Swirl Cakes by Yarn Inspirations. It is a bulky weight yarn, so you can use another bulky weight yarn of your choice. And uh, with that yarn, you're going to need an eight millimeter crochet hook. I use approximately one cake for this cowl, so that's about 250 yards if you're substituting for another yarn. Once again, the free written pattern can be found on my blog. There's a link in the description there for it. And uh, other than that, let's, uh, let's get started. You can grab your hooks and your yarn and we will crochet this misty cowl. Our pattern today is worked in rounds and we're going to start by working a foundation chain. So make your slip knot and in your foundation chain you're going to need a multiple of 80 stitches. Now if you would like to change the size of your cowl you can do so by adding or subtracting multiples of 2. So we're going to start by simply working 80 chain stitches and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch to make a ring. Once you have chained your 80 chains, being careful not to twist that turning chain, you're going to want to join with a slip stitch into that first chain. Now I should have mentioned this at the beginning. Uh, the circumference of this cowl is about 30 inches. So just join with a slip stitch into that first chain. You're then going to chain one and for round one you're going to work one half double crochet stitch into each chain all the way around. When you come to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 80 half double crochet stitches. At the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round two, you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in the third loop all the way around. So to find your third loop, if you take a look at the top of your stitches, you have these two loops up here, you have your front, your back loop. If you pull your work forward towards you and look at the back of your loop of your work, you will see that under this back loop there's another horizontal bar. So you can see it right here, right here. Each stitch has one. That horizontal bar is your third loop. So it's this, so you have this top bar on the back. You have another one right under it and uh, that's your third loop. So you're going to work a half double crochet into the third loop of each stitch all the way around. Okay, so continue that all the way around. What's going to happen as you are working is it's going to push the top of your stitches forward and you're going to end up 
with this knit looking line all the way around your cowl. So half double crochet in the third loop when you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round two, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Don't turn your work. Chain one and round three, you're going to simply repeat round two. So working in the third loop only, you're going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Do not turn your work. So this is what uh, your cowl should look like at the moment from start to finish. And we're going to now for round four start working some post stitches. And it's going to give you that uh, kind of bumpy texture there in the middle. So what we're going to do for round four is chain one. You're now going to work a front post half double crochet around the same stitch as joining. To work your front po post half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of the work, your work and insert it around the post of that first stitch, working from front through to back out to front. Now when I work this first stitch, I like to work around uh, both the chain stitch and the half double crochet. So I'm inserting my hook from front, back, up through the front again, yarn over, draw a loop around, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That's your front post half double crochet. You're then going to work a half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way around half uh, front post, half double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a half double crochet into the next. Repeat, front post, half double crochet around the next stitch, and half double crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round four, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round five, you're going to repeat your round four, so chain one, Front post, half double crochet around the same stitch as joining, followed by a half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Front post, half double crochet around the next stitch, and half double crochet around the next. You're going to really start to see at this point your post stitches popping out there. So repeat that all the way around when you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round five, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And now for rounds six through to 17, you're simply going to repeat your rounds two to five. So you're going to work two rounds of half double crochets in the third loop, followed by two rounds of your po front post uh, stitches and half double crochet stitches. You're essentially going to work till the end of your cake or until your cowl is about eight inches wide. Then you're going to fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to making your misty cowl. 
So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look at some of the other patterns here on my channel, especially the Misty Beanie, so you can complete your set. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.